Hi guys and welcome back to another video from Jacobs Badminton. Today is going to be the first video of our three part series on cross court net shots. The three shots we're going to be looking at are the early cross net, the deceptive cross net and the late cross net. So the first shot we're going to look at in our cross court net shot series is going to be the early cross net. We're going to show you how to play the shot, so looking at the technique you need to get the accuracy and consistency every time. And if you watch till the end, we're going to take you through some strategies of when to use it and how to set up this shot. The first thing we're going to do for the early cross net is make sure we have the right grip. So for the forehand side, we have the forehand grip and the backhand side, we have the bevel grip. We want to prepare nice and early because we're looking to take this shot either tape height or slightly above so that we can play the shuttle early and downwards, giving our opponent less time to pick up our shot and it's going to get from our racket to the floor nice and quickly. This shot doesn't need to be deceptive because we're taking it early and the chances are our opponent is still under pressure and we have that gap on the cross court so it's all about taking it early and getting it to the floor quickly. When practicing this shot I like to start with two shuttles on the net. They're roughly about two and a half racket lengths apart and this is a great way to ensure we can't get the shot wrong and is a good way to check and self-analyze what we're doing. So we're going to start with the racket in line with this shuttle, pushing across with a nice smooth action and finishing in line with the other shuttle. This is going to allow us to control the weight of our shot and hit with a nice consistent action. Some common mistakes we see with this shot are players that start with their racket back, so a big backswing for that preparation and not starting in line with the first shuttle. This is going to decrease our angles so we can't make our opponent travel from corner to corner and could also mean we hit with too much power and inconsistency. Another common mistake we see is players that finish past that second shuttle on the net with a big follow through. This means we could potentially hit with too much power because we're having a big swing and also means we could drag the shuttle away from the net or into the net. And by making our swing bigger, it's gonna mean more inconsistency with our shots. The next mistake we'll see is players that tap it or grip the racket too tight. And this means they'll finish in between the two shuttles on the net. Squeezing and tapping the shuttle means we're not gonna have much control with the shot. And it's gonna mean our shot can go anywhere and it's gonna be really random. And in those pressure situations, it's going to be hard to control the weight and get it where we want it to go. So let's take a look at when we're going to use this early cross net and come up with some strategies we can implement in our games to give us the opportunity to play the shot. So obviously we're looking to take it early in that forecourt area. So we need to be looking to either play a smash that's going to put our opponent under pressure where we've got time to come in and take it early, potentially on that weak return or if we've maybe played a good punch clear or a good flick and we've got our opponent deep in the rear court corners, this is gonna give us the opportunity to look for the net and come in and play early cross net down. So it's all about playing shots that allow us to take it early and make space at the front of the court for the next shot. We wanna play this in a way where it's either a winner or our opponent's really gonna to struggle to retrieve it. Because if we play this shot when our opponent's on balance, then we potentially open up the court on our side and that could put us in a little bit of trouble and the shuttle could go behind us and now it's going to be difficult for us to get back in the rally. So this shot should be used to add pressure to the rally and potentially set up that winning opportunity to win the point. So the next video in our series, we're going to be looking at the deceptive cross court net. So if you want to take your game to the next level and dominate the net, and not allow our opponent to read what we're going to hit, then you need to check out this video here.